Hello, and welcome to this video of People First Language for Harrison School District 2. Putting people first. So, when we talk about People First Language, we often think about special education. Now, what I want us to realize is that this idea is not just about special education, but it's universal. We are all unique individuals, and we're defined as unique individuals. And first of all, we are all human. This is what per People First Language is all about. So let's see what this looks like in practice. When we're talking about People First Language, you wouldn't want to be defined by any singular characteristic. You don't want to be defined as the red-haired person, or the blonde, or anything like that. That's not who you are only. You are a multitude of characteristics, and first of all, you are a person. This is what per, per People First Language is all about. So here's some examples. Instead of saying, oh, that's an autistic person, or a disabled person, or a dyslexic person, or a hearing disabled person, or a blind person, all of these are defining the person by the singular characteristic. They're limited to that one characteristic if they just become the blind person. That's who they are. They can't be anything else. So instead, they are first a person with autism, or they're a person with a disability, or they're a person with dyslexia, or a hearing disability, or a visual impairment. But they're first of all a person. They're a person with a multitude of characteristics, one of those characteristics possibly being some type of disability. But again, that does not define who they are. They're not defined by their disability. So how do we define a person? Well, we're defined by, again, a multitude of characteristics. We're defined by our interests, our hobbies, our occupations, but we're never defined by any one characteristic. We wouldn't be, want to be defined by, say, our skin color, our sexual orientation, our religion, or our disability. We wouldn't want to be known as the gay person, or we wouldn't want to be known as the black person, or the white person, or the Hispanic person. We want to be known by our multitude of characteristics, and ultimately, we're defined by our actions as unique individuals. So when we talk about person-first language, remember that words have power. Language shapes our perceptions and our reality. When we think that somebody is the blind person, that's what they become. They are, in our minds, defined as the blind person, not as a person who is blind or who has visual impairment. We're not defined by our disabilities or any other singular characteristic. We're defined by our character. I hope this video has been helpful, and remember that we are people first.